Ball roll my leg over and hunt me till noon. I got Jeff with me. I don't know any good songs. I got just... Brad with me. R? I got Ben with 99 me. 99 gargles of flask. Fla what? what? Oh, oh, geez. Barrels of I frog the on the wall? Oh, oh, I just gotta, I gotta drink this away. Batten the timbers and shiver me hatches. Welcome, everybody. Sea of Thieves. It's a whole new world. And Jeff, you okay? I'm ready to hunt. Right. Let's get it done. Sometimes right. the Rasselus hits you, sometimes uh -huh. you hit back. All right, let's warm up. Gosh, I am mixing all of my... All right, warm up. Get whoa, over here. Whoa, what? Get over here. All right. You ready? Oh, the arm wrestling barrel. Yep. All right. And get set. Three, two, Boy, I don't know how. One. Probably not fast. Ah, oh, it's my circle. Come on. Oh, Test your might. I need my pelgo. Yeah. Hank wins. Oh, jeez. All right, and that is Monster Hunter. All right, great. World. We drank, we arm wrestled. Uh, we're we on drank, we hank. Yeah. Yep. On the tower ship. We got this gong? Hit the gong. I can't hit the gong, man. What kind of game is this? Sometimes you hit the gong. Horizon Zero Dawn collaboration content now to be. Oh, awesome. Anyway. Any idea uh, how you get that? Uh, Just play the game? Play Horizon? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. Anyway, here we are in the gathering hub. This is like a you know big a multiplayer lobby. A bunch of people can you know hang out in here and arm wrestle and get drunk and eat food and stuff. And also, I'm gonna know, eat food. Uh, select quests. We'll do that right before we. Uh, okay, I figured I would eat now uh, before like, before we go. Yeah, man, you can do it. Yeah, you're supposed to wait 30 minutes so you don't get cramps. Yeah. Right. Okay, so I was looking at your stuff before. We'll we'll try and help you knock out some some stuff here. I'm gonna yeah. this new quest. Uh, looks like you were up to. I'm uh, hunter rank eight, but but level four, I guess, gotcha. in, in the quests. Yep. Yeah. And you wanted to slay a Rathian, didn't you? I have not done that yet. That's so my yeah, favorite. Sure. She's my favorite monster. Mm. Most people don't know that. Uh, we're just gonna set it to two people because then we can bring our our palicos, which is pretty rad. Yeah. Uh, I'll set it <laughs> to no because it'll be filled right away. Yeah, there we go. That should be fine. So four players, no palicos? Uh, four players, no palicos, oh. yeah. Okay. I assume uh, three so players, like, no palicos. Right, yep. But yeah. Okay. Or maybe it's the first one that has the yeah, palico? Maybe, I'm maybe. not sure. I usually play with, you know, full, full roster. All right, now's a good time to eat. I already ate. You already ate? So I'm going to join your quest now okay. while you eat. Yeah, you go do that. Uh, I'm going to play with my... Ch Ooh, look at this. Okay, yeah. I got some good ingredients. I'll take that. Wait. So I'm looking it's at asking this. me about it, which camp to go. Okay, okay, it shows you as a leader. Yep. Okay. Uh, I just picked the, uh, the default one, the southwest camp okay. up there. Uh, so yeah, looking at this right here. Uh, I'm gonna use a voucher. Should I use a voucher? Yeah, because then we'll get more parts, right? Yeah, totally. I got uh, two lucky vouchers, which are the, the like the daily login bonus. So these are really good bonuses right here, up on top anyway. Brad, you know? what's going on? I, mm -hmm. I'm trying to just, just tell you. Just like, smile and nod, man. All right, so I'm eating food before the quest, uh, and I'll get bonuses, you know, for that. So up at the top is, you know, the meal effects. Those are, you know, straight bonuses to your health and stamina. Uh, down below in the ingredient effects, uh, I get a little boost to my attack. Okay. I get some resistance, but uh, also these uh, food skills down here, the feline feet. Prevents you from getting knocked on your butt. Pretty great. Also, that. Also, that. Uh, so, if there is, you know, like a quest where you're, you're fighting somebody, uh, use a lot of fire, and maybe your right. armor isn't, like, well built for that, uh, you can seek out some, like, elemental damage. But for the most part, you just, you know, you just kind of pick something. What game is this again? Monster Hunter World. Got it. Oh. Yeah. That makes sense. Oh. Is that paella? I think like so. Pay, yeah. Smells like it. I hope like it's nom nom nom. Like a nom 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 nom. Get on my food plate. I want to eat yours. I want to eat again. No. Do they have any of that bacon wrapped <laughs> chicken? <laughs> chicken hearts, anybody? All right. So which uh, which weapon are you using? Uh, I'm, I went dual peek. blades. Dual blades. I've been using dual blades so far. Good stuff. Uh, I've got to upgrade it on the bone tree. Yeah. Uh, which means I just need some more parts, I guess. I don't know. Like yeah, totally. So I've, I've played about 12 hours of this thing. I feel like I've wrapped my mind around most of it. Mm -hmm. uh, at least like what you do and how you do it. You and dress up cats? Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I've bought a lot of armor for my cat. Sweet. And I've bought a lot of armor and stuff for me as well. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and it seems like I definitely need to Let's go fight the same monster over and over again to get these parts. <laughs> Sometimes, and, yeah. I don't know how, I feel, uh, I don't know I how think, I feel about that. I think they've made that a lot easier um, in this game. Um, these lucky vouchers seem like, I don't know if those have been in previous games, but the description on them makes it sound like you'll get all the rare shit Right. When you use it on a quest. And that's, yeah, that's great. Sometimes, yeah, in previous games, yeah, like I'm, tr I'm trying to get like a certain scale or a plate or something like that, and it just doesn't drop, and it's super frustrating. But I have not had that, that issue in this mm. game. Um, there, there have been like a significant amount of quality of life improvements. Such uh, as? Uh, such as, uh, in particular, uh, being able to change out your loadout in camp. You know, normally you would set up everything before you went on the expedition, but now... And then you'd be stuck with it, right? Yeah, you kind of stuck with it. Um, for better or for worse. But uh, yeah, now you can actually go in and change your equipment, uh, get different items from your item box. Uh, yeah, change out your Palico stuff. And that's even mid-fight, right? Like yep. you, you could be halfway through killing a monster and run back here. And yeah, totally. Yeah. Oh, so that would be a way to like, you know, let's say if you want to use the bow gun with like sleep ammo to try to capture something, you could you could come back here and switch. Yeah, if you wanted to. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna grab some of these easy ones huh. here. I've not invested in any other weapon yet. I've I've been all and, in on the dual blades. Yeah, and that's fine. Um, I've been using the. Uh, I started off with a hammer for a long time. I'm using the bow right now. Um, I'm probably gonna use the bow pretty much through the through the quick look here. Have um, you guys? Did you guys spend much time in the tutorial area? Like I, I started yes. with the uh, switch axe. The yeah, the, like the, the new set is pretty complicated. It is, yeah. Uh, the, a lot of the the new weapons. Well, there's no new weapons, I should say. Uh, but the new attacks for weapons and some of the uh, the chains and stuff are are really really cool. They're very significant. They're they're big changes from from previous uh, from previous games. Getting all these fire herbs. Do it. So you're searching for the monster now, right? You got it. So yeah, we're looking for a Rathian. Um, and that was just to hunt it, right? Not kill, or not capture it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, yeah, the other big um, improvement is, uh, addition, is the use of these scout flies. Uh, so when you get, uh, they're kind of a handholdy thing, uh, but whenever you get close to things, it'll, it'll highlight them. Letting you know that it's, uh, you know, you can interact with it, you know, collect it or whatnot. God damn it, don't hit the paratope. Jeff just kicked a I frog. Kicked, I kicked a frog oh, and it geez. blew up. That's, that's on you right there. Look at, what, look what you did to our cats. I think we need to spend a little less time kicking frogs and a little more time licking frogs. Oh, okay. I hit the button thinking I was going to lick it, but it didn't, right. it didn't go the way I... My, my cat does not like the, the water, so he's got a little raft. <laughs> I really like the little raft. Yeah. Right? That's so cool. Can you uh, can you turn off the scout flies? Like it, it's, it seems like something that probably maybe well, some I don't long time know. Monster Hunter fans might not appreciate. Yeah, I can I can see that because I mean it's basically a quest indicator, right? Yeah, like for the most part, objective marker. And, uh, and a lot of this stuff's built around like you know as you find footprints and start finding evidence of the monster, like the scout flies light up and start directing you towards the next footprint or eventually like the monster itself. Yeah, right? I, I was uh, talking I to a couple way. veterans from the series and they were really glad that you don't have to keep remarking the yeah. monster when you're chasing it, which I guess is something in the old games. Yeah, you would have to mark it with like a paintball or something like that. Yeah. I'm guessing the Rathian's gonna be like over here. Because on area. the 3S, uh, these zones, like, this you, way. you would hit a loading screen every time you went across one of those borders. Yep, that's definitely and, another like quality another, improvement. Yeah, and it's just one big contiguous world. Yeah, even yeah. though they, oh, they, they are- they call it, it, Monster Hunter World. <laughs> oh. They're still, uh, they've still they got out. numbers in them to like, you know, kind of help out. But you can mark, you know, other players if you want to go directly to them. Uh, there's other camps that you can fast travel to. Um, I don't see anything that I've unlocked over here, but uh, but like this guy over here. Like I can just warp directly to that guy. These guys are yelling at me. Ah, fuck those guys. Just leave them. Wait, They're just, yelling at me. And just poop. Yeah, that's what animals do. They scream and I they cry and they eat. What are you, what are you doing with that dung pod? Uh, I'm gonna, I can fling it at things. It'll scare away some monsters. Hey, there's mining over here. I don't know if you care. Yeah, get it. Go for it. I'm good. It's a lot of iron. This 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 guy is still yelling at me. Did you say that dung would scare away monsters? It can. Yeah, yeah. You, you can fling it. You can shoot it in their face. Did they? So like at E3, they were leaning into, or they were really hyping up this kind of the idea of this ecosystem. Yep. Of you know a hierarchy of monsters, some of which hate each other and will fight. Yep. Or you know some prey on others. Like, yeah, yeah. does that actually manifest in the game? Like, does that something you interact <laughs> Absolutely. with? Absolutely. I've definitely, like, had monsters fight other monsters and had that go weird and... I've had it go really, really well as well. Uh, 
It's got me some bonus parts when one monster killed another one. I was it's, like, oh, cool, I'm going to carve that while well, you there she is. go do some stuff. There she is. Oh, are we here? Okay. Oh, I, man, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't even go through my loadout to find what kind of items I got. Uh, let me take a peek. I have not uh, needed to do much other yeah. than stab monster to death <laughs> just so hit, far. Hit it in the it's ankles been, until it dies. Yeah, yeah, know, honestly. It, let's it's, go with that route for sure. Uh, but there, there are several instances in which you can use items uh, to your benefit. There's big bombs that you can bring with. There's traps and stuff like that. There's like a bunch of environmental stuff too, right? Yep, absolutely. Um, you can kind of see that on the map too. I'll try and move away here. All right, are we going? Okay. Yeah, go for it. All right. Uh, oh yeah, she took off. She's yeah. gone. Yeah, okay. Trying to zoom in. But yeah, some, they'll actually show it on the map where you, know, you can interact with the environment. Um, like these poison cups up here. I can run up there, hit those poison cups, and there'll be like a little poison pool that can Poison myself with the monster. So, um, in these very early, you know, levels, there's not a lot of strategy involved. I'll be honest. I, th I think they made the game considerably easier. Uh, I've not to had begin with. You haven't had that much. The trouble. only time I've fainted or, uh, is when I've been extremely careless. Right. And yeah, that, that'll totally happen too. I've got I've gotten one shotted by a lot of monsters um, before. But yeah, it's like extremely careless, and then when the monster is almost dead, so that they're like right. going for broke on the big attacks and stuff. All right, you ready, buddy? Yeah, let's do it. All right, here we go. I'm gonna shoot her in the butt. Okay. Oop, I'm out of range. Well, it's on much. now. Yeah, so for me, it's really just about like getting in close with these dual blades, and then I have a roll, and yep. I just kind of roll out of the way of the attacks, and then get oh, in there and shit. stab them. And because this is a flying one, I kind of have to pick my shots a little more carefully. Yep. Uh, because it'll be in the air a lot of the time, so kind of wait for it to get close or land, and then get in there. Right. I can pop so into. Good, so a good thing for you to do. Mode. Yeah, uh, it's it flying in the air. Is uh, you know you, can, you pick up the slinger ammo. Right. Yeah. That's also something that, that's uh, really like, oh shit. But it doesn't really seem like it does that much damage. So right. I haven't really it's, been spending a lot of time with it. It's there? totally about uh, distracting the monsters okay. for the most part. So when they're you know gearing up for an attack. Uh, you can start shooting them in the face sometimes. Oh, you know? kind of like knock them out of a, an yep. attack animation? Okay. Yep. That's, I've tried that a couple of times and, and haven't really had it go anywhere. Ooh, that was, I got hit pretty hard there. Uh, did you get poisoned? No. Okay. Oh, is this a poison yeah. situation? Yeah, her tail typically poisons something unless she grows. I've got fire. antidote, so. Good, good. So could you just like cut off the tail to remove that poison attack? Yep. Nope. Yeah, so you'd need a like a bladed weapon to do that. Uh, oh, wait, might be any weapon? Uh, no. Okay. No, because like uh, blunt weapons will lead to a higher chance of like knocking them out. Like the hammer, if you get a headshot with the hammer, that'll help knock them out. But like the blades will cut off the tail or the different parts. Yep. I cut off the tail of a Paolola? How? I forget what it's called. Oh, is that the, um, the fluffy bat, one? The fluffy bat thing. I cut off. He's no, you know what? No, I'm sorry. That was not. That was not the one of those. That was the one I fought after that. Okay. Which was the spiky thing that rolled up like Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, gotcha. Kind of the, yeah, the um, uh, knuckles. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. I am gonna quickly use a potion here. Yeah. I like that your bow does not have a sharpness meter. Yeah, that's uh, that's kind of nice. Um, oh, also with like the sharpening stuff, you know, you would have to use whetstones before. You still do actually, but you would have to build the whetstones. You don't have to build them anymore. Yeah, infinite whetstones. They're, they're, yeah, oh, I got staggered. That's a big deal. Oh, I got poisoned. Uh oh, all right. So yeah, run off. Okay. And uh, right here, I'm gonna hand it up. Yeah. Trying to keep her distracted there. Okay. Oh. It seems like this game is pretty good about when you heal, they see you doing it and come over and try and fuck your shit up. Yep. I think they used to do it a lot oh, more I'm when you were trying to sharpen as well. Oh no, but. that's a bigger wasp. Never mind. Uh, yeah, when, when I sharpen, also, I, they they will definitely. I'm on fire. <laughs> you got to uh, roll, gotta roll to put out the fire, yep. which is nice. Oh, stun. Oh, nice. yep. One of our. I bought the ladybug uh, weapon for ah, my Palico, ah, nice. and it seems to be pretty good at stunning them. Okay. I just got that last night. It's pretty cool. All right, later. All right. I'm just going to grab these. Does that do anything once you've already found the monster? Uh, you get points for it. Um, so, yeah, I'll show that once we, uh, once we get back into town. So. Uh, but like right now, I want to bring up my map and just make sure that we've got a, we've got a pin in this, this old girl. There we go. So now the scout flies are gonna go directly. Oh, there's to a, a scale around here, a Rathian scale. Oh, oh really? Never mind. I just got it. Just for you? Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you need any poop? 
No, I'm good. You sure? Yeah. I got I got a couple of piles. You know, there. you know what? You want? Sure. Okay. All right. I'll yeah. Yep. Why not? There we go. Free poop is hard to come. Those by, are actually you know? good. All right. So dunk pod. Yeah. Uh, I mentioned not slinger. Not this city. Slinger. Mm. Slinger ammo. You can equip that onto your your slinger and picking up some smoke nut. Yep. <laughs> just throw some poop at you. Why would you? I'm just getting the smoke nut. Leave me. Leave me. Out. Let's Stop harshing his. <laughs> uh, All right, I sharpened up. Cool. I'm ready to go. Uh, I might be able to mount her. Let's see. Uh, should I wait here and not engage? Mm, or no, go for it. That's okay. fine. Yeah. Is it, is it stuck in the level? Okay. No. Uh -uh. I've had because sometimes you hit them and they fall over. I've had them fall over into the terrain. And oh man. Okay. Well. Oh, I should have stood back there. I think she's oh, coming down. Over there. Right. Whoa, what the hell was that? Did it sick flip. Oh, yeah, I got hit by the second one. Alright, I'm gonna hop up there again and see if I can. Oh man, you oh. Alright. Settle down, lady. Sorry, not this way. Nope. I have oh, yeah. uh, not done a lot of mounting. It's fun. It's uh, kind of inconsistent, I'll be honest. Oh. Yeah, parts of this game see? still see sort of seem janky. Uh, like that. Totally I was inside like a monster should... last night and just hacking away at it. That's, and that's... It, seemed, it didn't attack for a long time, even though it wasn't stunned. It was, it was probably. Oh shit. I oh. forgot to jump off. It was probably not violent. No, it was. Mm -hmm. Oh my oh, god. How did I miss that? Jason, are you supposed to get like a prompt when you're able to mount it? Or does no. It just happen? Uh, hold on, I gotta. Get the hell out of here. Did I bring in those? Okay. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, she's not breathing fire anymore. She got her. Okay, Mega Potion. There is a, a weapon wheel too. Um, like a. Use items. Yeah, you kind of. I, I, I use the wheel more than that uh, that mini menu that you're using. Gotcha. I end up. I don't know. It's just a muscle memory, I think, to use it like the manual way. That manual way seems bad. <laughs> and, you know, it, or, Man, or, or like I, I've know. been doing it for years. Yeah. Though. It's like it's hard to ah. hard to break away from that. All right, I'm gonna take one of these bigger wasps up. Yeah, dude. Yeah. You can call for those individually too. How do you call for them? Uh, so it's in your weapon. So oh, okay. Your item. That's. So right there, Vigor Wasp delivery. If they've got it available, I can call for it. Oops. Yeah, I know they'll they'll call out when it, when it is available. Okay. And then yeah, he just set it up for me. I'm gonna throw some poop at him or her. Sorry, I don't want to. All right. Oop. Okay. Got to make sure out. that I got. There we go. Got coating on my. Is this boat. more poop? Ooh. Let me know no, if you those find are stones. any more. Never mind. Okay. Oh, we're not you? interested. There's stone over here if you need. Not nah, good. Okay. Mm. So if we were really, you know, uh, trying to be on point, you know, we would be setting up traps to make sure that she can't leave and, and shit like that. Uh, they usually follow a pretty determined route. So uh, you can there's a round cactus over here if you're interested in account items. Uh, maybe. Not right now, though. Usually when I'm hunting, I'm hunting. Like, I don't go too far out of my way. Yeah, so if if I stuff. see anything I don't like get, like, overwhelmed. weird or cruel along yes. the way, I'll stop. There does need to be items that, oh shit, uh, that are, like, sparkly, and those are a little more rare. So. I'm on my way. Okay. Oh! That's got these sweet cactuses. Oh, no. Oh, this is mad. I flip that tail. Oh! God, get out of here! I'm pretty into the way this game handles stamina in that, like, your basic weapon attacks don't use any. Mine do, actually. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Mine mine do not. So right. I can kind of swing forever. Yeah. Uh, but rolls and stuff like that. Oh, man, I'm getting fucked up. Hang on. There's all that too. Yeah. What's she doing? Flipping out. Uh, whoa. You guys mess with any other weapons? Yeah, so I'd, I'd use the hammer an awful lot to begin with. Uh, that's super satisfying. 
Oh god, the spin attacks when you're going down a hill. Yeah. Uh, and it's got another one where you just like uh, continuously do this overhead slam over and over, and it's got like a you know, freeze frame like effect, like it. it Really impactful. It's, it's amazing. It feels pretty good. I mounted. Yeah. I hooked onto a wing drake and mounted. That's crazy. I've never even seen those prompts before. There we go. Yeah, so, yeah, you swung up to the... Oh, man. So the wing drake, are you still on? Yeah. yeah I'm still on. Get her. What's the what's the advantage of mounting? Because it looks like you're doing very little damage. Th that's true. Yeah, but just, uh, if, free, you, if you complete, damage. like, the sequence, as it were, like, you'll knock them down and they'll ah. be... Uh, very vulnerable for a while. There you go. Flurry. Here we go. There we go. Nice. Ah. All oh. right. Man, that's cool. Yeah. So the, the yeah, weapon I I'm, I've been using is the Insect Glaive, which lets you do like a bunch of cool flips around so you get a lot of mounts. Oh, uh, I didn't use that from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't any of the weapons. I it was like a oh, shit. Okay. It's yeah, just very, uh, very complicated because there's also this whole buff and debuff system of projectiles and where you, wherever you hit on the monster gives you different combinations of buffs and debuffs. It's like a lot. They, um, yeah, they rate all the weapons by difficulty when you first start. So yeah, like said, these dual blades are easy, and blade, yeah. the insect thing is like hard. Insect stuff. I'm a dumbass, and I want to choose the hardest weapon in the game. It's not necessarily the hardest. Man, uh, when he first played this, he was yeah, the hunting here. horn. Yeah, I was going to say the hunting horn seems yeah, like... Yeah, hunting horn is ridiculous. <laughs> they get the water great songs for it. Yep. Shit. I need, uh, is there any wasps? Uh, uh, I, sorry, I just, just need one. That's cool. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I just got the Diablo's prompt, but I don't know where it is. Okay. Oh, he's right. Yeah, he's right in the middle of the hell. The screen there. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. We're back in. Oh, he's digging underground, so. Okay. That was a cool flip we just did, Jeff. Yeah, when, when you're on any kind of slope, fighting up or down it, these dual blades, you just start fucking flipping out. Yep. It's a new uh, hammer, too. It's really cool. Oh. No, so the, the arrows are, are all the same, but I can put different coating on them. Like, for this one, can only use... Spikes, what are, what are you oh, doing? That, that's one of my uh, powers here. Okay. Is it hitting you? No, I don't... Okay. Well, no, it didn't look like it was. Okay, get over there. Ooh, I wonder if I can... Ah, no, I don't. Is it right near down there? Oh, oh that's in move. Much! But yeah, so with stamina, like my stamina doesn't drain on my normal attacks, but I can hit R2 to go into demon mode. Yeah. Which, you know, I get extra attacks and start filling up a separate meter and, and all this other it. stuff. And that drains your stamina. And then rolling uh, impacts your stamina. So mm -hmm. it becomes this risk reward of like, I want to get in there for a while. So I want to pop demon mode because I'm going to be in there for a little bit doing damage. But mm -hmm. then it becomes harder for me to get away if I drain all my stamina because I can't roll out of the way of an incoming attack. Right. Uh, and and I've found that to be pretty neat so far. Uh, so with mine, yeah, the longer that I hold down, like, you know, I can I can draw the bow. Um, there we go. The longer that I hold it down, it, it oh, holds, really? okay. or yeah. keeps draining stamina. Huh. But Whoa. I can fire those things, and it just rains rocks. That's cool. Yeah. Doesn't do much damage, but, you know, if you can get them kind of pinned down, mm -hmm. then... It staggered me when I hit, was hit by them. I didn't see any numbers fly. Oh, okay. I didn't know that shit. Sorry. Yeah. I mean, I ran into it on purpose to see it. Would oh, so. See, I would think that I would be able to mount it there. But. Yeah, situations like this, where like where it's next to a ledge and half his body is clipped through the, the ledge, is, is, that to me has been happening quite a lot. Yeah. Uh, poison. Oh, I am. Shit. All right. Uh, so normally in multi multiplayer, I, I would be bringing along uh, a bunch of powders. Like a, you can throw them down, and it'll do like an AOE, like heal, oh, or right. like yeah. an AOE, like antidote type, type thing. Yeah, there's some poop for you. Don't think about that. Not <laughs> she a, did not she like did that. Not like the poop. <laughs> but, I mean, sorry. That is what the poop is supposed to do, <laughs> right? <laughs> It's like, we were just fighting, you didn't have to make it weird. <laughs> I needed her to leave so I could pick up all this blast nut. Excuse me? Yeah. I gotta get this blast nut! You shouldn't be picking up the blast nut. I gotta get this blast nut. Oh, fuck. I, whoa. Uh, 
I have found fighting in the water to be yep. a little frustrating because of the speed. Yep, there's, there's, there's items that uh, uh, get rid of that. Okay. Water wings. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Equipment, I should say. Oh. Right. I want that tail out of commission. I don't know if I can. Yeah, can you do a tail? I, I don't know. That, I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to hit her from behind. But, um, I definitely have not liked the bow in the previous games. No, this is the first time. They really revamped the, uh, the missile weapons. They've made you know the bow guns much more like actual guns. Yeah, I've heard the whole analog sticks this time. Yeah, it's it's pretty great. I've heard a lot of people who like this game or who like these games talking about like, liking the ranged weapons for the first time. Yep. That's me. I just always found this game such a chore to play, period. They can. On, on the 3DS. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because, because you didn't have good camera oh. control, because you were lacking the analog. Or... Yeah, it couldn't be the claw. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was good. Ooh, just missed that. Like, nice. that, that to me is the entire point of this game, is finally getting to play on the real controller. Yep. I mean, I, you know, I know it was on PS2 back in the day and stuff, but... Oh, man. Oh, fuck. I'm getting tore up. Uh, okay. I'm gonna... I got hurt a little bit here. Um... I'm gonna call for a bigger wasp. Right. So if I asked you how dead this thing is, what would you say? Uh, probably about halfway. Okay. You can kind of see there, uh, down in the camera, the R3 stuff down there, you see a little bit of like a, like, like yeah. a heartbeat line. Oh, interesting. There. Okay. That, that was something I was always really bad at gauging on the, the handheld ones, is just like reading the body language. Right. Try to figure out how close to dead um, it be. So when you're like breaking body parts and stuff, I think it's... It's either, you know, the effect of the you know, this high fidelity version, it just seems like it's much easier to read. Yeah. God damn it. Hit right on that tail. Oh well. Oh no shit. Uh I'm gonna sharpen. Okay. Oh, she tried to breathe fire. Wasn't working. Nice. <laughs> She's burying her head in the water. What the hell? Leave me alone. Aww. Poor girl. Oh, so mad. Oh, she's fighting this other thing. She's getting food, is what oh, she's doing. Oh, fuck. Right. Well, we should does probably that, stop that, right? Does yep. That, does that heal it? Yeah. Get you got to eat it all. That's right. You gotta move it to what she does. Oh! Yep. Oh, that's close. Oh boy! Alright, so I'm playing on a PS4 Pro. Um, I think I'm on resolution settings. There's four different ones there. Resolution, you can put priority graphics or uh, frame rate, like a performance type thing. I've been playing on on the frame rate mode more often than not because yeah, this will get a little chunky, like even on a, even on a pro. Yeah, I, I, especially when he's like heavily. I guess I've just I found the frame rate mode to not be that great. Okay. And I think it looks a little grimy. There's yeah, because there'll, there'll be a lot of like you know dithering on yeah. um, some of the texture. Yeah. Or like the textures take a while for it to pop in, but yeah, even stuff that's like up close. And it's, it's not perfectly smooth, it's not like yeah. a lot of fun. Oh no. She's mad. Oh fuck it. Alright, who, who hit the toad? Wasn't me, man. Who fucking hit the toad? Cal? Was it you? Son of a bitch. He's just sitting there drinking. Yeah. God damn it. Okay, where'd she go? Uh, she's got the skull popping off her on the mini map. She's so almost we, dead. We gotta be. Gotta be real close. I mentioned uh, camps before too. Where when you first start a new area, um, you only have one camp available. But as you find new areas, um, you get an opportunity to uh, like cultivate it, as it were. So you've got to like put some research points into it or whatever, and then you can like you start there or fast travel there whenever. I have yet to find a camp that wasn't just like part of a mission of like, right. hey, we just got to this area, you need to go set a new camp. Yeah, they're hidden. Like, uh, there's one right through here, actually. Um, oh, that's neat. Yeah. So you gotta work for it a little bit. Oh, wait, she's really inside. We, I think we have to go through. Yeah, scout flies are telling me that. Never ignore your scout flies. Yep. 
But anyway, I'm gross. She's down there. Uh, she's in here in, in a nest. There's okay. eggs in here. Oh, those are her eggs, aren't they? Oh yeah, you're fighting her. I'm not too far away. Okay. Uh, otherwise, I would try and fast travel or whatever. You're right around the corner. Here. I've got a cat here. It's fine. Oh good. Oh jeez. Oh boy. Oh, there's bones in here. I need a lot of bones, actually. I need monster bone M's like nobody's business, and so they never, I never get them. Make sure that you, uh, yeah, loot these bones after we kill you. Get that bigger wasp. Bring it to me, Cal. Bring it to me, Cal. Yeah. Let's play. Damn it, I thought it was over. I want to mount you. So I've got this cool thing with the with the bow. Let's see. Get back over here. Alright. Do something. Ah, oh, fuck. I'll show it later. I gotta, I gotta heal. Oops. Going back this way. Oh. Okay. Uh-oh. Mega nutrients. I should uh -oh. be using those. Uh-oh. How are you doing over there? I'm on fire. Oh, no. There's my head. And that takes a while to chug. Almost back in it. All right, here I come. Oh, Whoa, no, off. God. She came for me. <laughs> oh, I wonder if I can. All right, hang on. Let me see if I can line this up. Okay. Get her. I, I mean, no. I hit her on the way down, but she was flying up. Uh, I was jumping down. Oh, so gotcha. that, that, oh. oh, God. I got another chance. Ah. Nope, that's not good. Oh. I'm poisoned again. I do not like the area that we're in. Right yeah, now. this is <laughs> fucking bad. It's too tight. Uh, I'm trying to think of who she's get, like aggroing right now. Except for one of the cats. Okay. I can't really move him unless we actually just like, oh shit. Hmm. Uh, oh, I'm fuck. Up. I'm gonna up and see if she'll, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna shoot down at her. I am in super trouble. Okay, she's back up. Oh. Yeah. Oops, she I'll is. is. Come up, jump back down. Come I'm staying up here. Okay. I will shoot the shit out of her. Oh, I really want to mount her there. Oh, God, that's... She's down on the ground. Oh, she's down down there? Yeah. Oh, well, now she's, she's back at home. All right. Come on up, lady. I'm ready for you. I'll start going through this bone pile. That'll get her up here. Yep. See? Yep. Oh, God. Where'd you go? Oh, hi. All right, I'll stop getting the bones. <laughs> oh. Whoa, tail! Okay, all right. So here we go. Shoot, dodge, and then <laughs> sometimes you can mount them by doing that. Uh -oh. Whoa! Knocks you out of a combo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been, it's been fine. Okay. Taking off again. All right, yeah. I'm get these bones. Do it. I think I got two of them already. But none of them are M's. Just boulder bones. I'm gonna use this. Not even a real how's thing. Your, how's your health? I'm you're, fine. You're, you're, yeah, okay. go ahead. Yeah, rocks aren't bones. I can confirm that. Whatever she. I like the auto crafting. 
Oh man, it's because so I'm nice. picking yeah. up herbs, it's just automatically making them into potions. Yeah, let me let me show that real quick. So in our crafting list, um, so when I, whenever I pick up an herb, if I set this to auto craft, oh that's it, cool, it'll just automatically make a potion. Uh, so if I have a potion in inventory and I have honey, it'll automatically uh, do that as you pick them up. That is definitely one of those quality of life things that, man, like, they've addressed so many of, like, just little grapes that I've had over the years, you know? Yeah! You did it. I've already done this quest, so, um, I can either choose to, like, stay here and keep hunting stuff or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what, what else we want to show. Uh, I mean, yeah. I just want to carve this thing. Yeah. Is it okay. worth looking at some of the crafting stuff? Back totally. In? Yep. Yeah. yeah we'll I absolutely show yeah. that stuff. Go make some stuff. Yeah, I probably get some stuff that I can make. What uh, tier fight was that or mission? Uh, four out of nine. I want to say nine to wow. ten. It, I don't know actually. I, I haven't gone through that because that was a pretty long fight. That was yeah. Um, uh, they also get more difficult when you have more players. Yeah. But it's more fun with more people. Yeah, that's the thing. Is like I've been playing this alone most of the time because the game hasn't been out, and I've kind of been getting bored uh, because a lot of the, the fights are the same. Especially with dual blades, like I'm just like I'm yeah. getting in their kind of rear haunch and stabbing the shit out of it until it's dead. I you know suggest trying to find a different weapon. You know, yeah, they, like, they all I, play I, so differently. But like this is. If super effective, right? Uh, yeah, I know. Like, so it, it's kind of hard to give up on it. But yeah, I don't know. No, I get you. Shell, Rathian webbing, scale, shell, webbing, armor sphere plus, monster bone L. Yeah, the M's large though. Oh, uh, L's, L's are fine. But you got to go down in level then, like a uh, quest level to pick those up. Yeah. Uh, so Wrath talon. wing talon. Okay. All right. Hank, taking two trophies. Gathering maniac, look at you. That's right, I'm picking shit up. I that menu. Fundamentals. Uh, but yeah, we've talked a lot about the, the quality of life stuff. Um, I, I can't speak <laughs> like highly enough about it, like how much they've improved as far as like accessibility and just like, streamlining a bunch of like really menial tasks. I think there's some stuff in here that like you'll have to spend some time to wrap your mind around. Like totally. some of the way they build the quests is like what's an investigation versus an expedition yep. versus a direct main quest. They hey, they layer that stuff on like they don't throw it. Oh yeah. All they don't throw yeah. all of it at you. But at they once. don't they don't explain some of it super well. Yep. Some of the process you have to go through to like register optional quests is like seems dumb. It's kind of, um, yeah, kind of goofy. Like, if I go here, uh, this is where, like, kind of the side missions. Um, so these are things that I can select. Oh, I totally, we disbanded. I, I was wondering, because like, oh, yeah. I went back to camp. I'm like, wait, how are you? Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I, 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 I wasn't paying attention. Off. That's right. We're good. Uh, return from... So, yeah, I completed those things. So I, I get, like, additional armor spheres and, you know, some resource points, which are different than your, your zen, your gold. Or right. Whatever. So, yeah, the bounties, you can register a handful of them at a time, and that's the stuff that's like, collect eight honey yep. or capture two monsters or, mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah, pick some flowers while you're out there, you know? Just yeah. let me know. Um, then, and then investigations here are like kind of hmm, not optional challenges. They're optional challenge. Well, yeah, they kind I mean, of. Yeah, but they're like, or, or it's like here's a way to get rewards for things you might do anyway. Exactly. And yeah. and they have limited number of retries, so you can kind of like. And some of them have like a higher condition, like uh, the max players you can do is two. Right. Uh, yeah. Traditionally, or Monster Hunter will minutes. be yeah, 50 minutes, and then some of these are like 30 or 20. Here's so. my big question. Can you stack those things and yeah. just go out and knock out a bunch of them at a time? Uh, the bounties, totally. I've had yeah. like two for bones, and each one rings up each yep. time okay. I pick up a bone. Cool. Like, yeah, you can, you can definitely do it that way. Absolutely. All right. So some of the other dudes that, that will eventually show up in here uh, using like an item melder. So if you're having trouble finding like a, a particular item, like you know, you're, you're grinding and trying to get that, that one plate uh, that you need, you can instead, if you Wait, have the right... who's that guy? I don't think I have Elder Melder. Do I not have that guy yet? No, you don't, you don't know Elder, Elder Melder? Melder yet. Man, I want the Elder Melder. Right. So if you really need that Andronath plates or, you know, the Diablo marrow, you can, you know, trade in one of these things. Um, a lot of the, uh, here, I'll, sh I'll show you those again. 
But if you have these particularly, like, they're like vouchers, essentially. Um, but you can get those from completing. What? 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 Oops, back up. Sick investigations, wait. Mm -hmm. Bounties, there we go. The limited edition bounties, look at that. Uh, and these you don't even have to sign up for. It's just like, you know, as soon as you, you know, defeat or capture three great Jagras, you know, then you get one of those. And like in this case, you get the Steel White variant print. Uh, so you can trade that in for, you know, a really hard to find item. Uh, quality of life improvement right here. Check this out. Research levels. This is the Scott Fly stuff that's leveling up as you're like, you know, looking at oh, tracks that's, and shit that's like the that. point of picking up extra footprints yeah so it's like you know once uh, once you're at a certain level you know it'll find the monster like right away for you and you know you can just run directly to it from the scout flies uh monster field guide this is fantastic so let's take a look at the the rathian that we just uh oops there she is all right so if I uh, scroll over here, uh, take a look at the physio uh, physiology and oh, tell you what's cool. breakable, what's oh. severable, wow. what it's weak to. Oh, and what weapons you need. It, and, yeah, it's, it's, no, it's great. <laughs> it's fucking, uh, that's, that shit was so buried um, before. Like, I, I kept my phone by me whenever I played and I had a few different apps that had you know, all this information. Uh, so like a lot of the information that was you know, extremely you know, obtuse and just like, out, just out there, like not in the game. Uh, they've finally brought it in. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, farming stuff, you know, I can, I can grow stuff. And, you know, if I don't want to go out and just like gather shit all the time, I can set this guy to say, hey, grow me, grow me some god bugs, homie. Oh, you can grow bugs now? Yeah. I can only, I'm growing like honey and stuff like that. Oh, good. Workshop. I've got a quest over here that I need to turn in some coral bones and research points, and I'll get Catalyst as a reward. What is that? Catalyst is uh, like a mixing item. Um, you can make uh, something better oh, with okay. that. How about that? Like sort of like honey yeah. will make a potion into a better potion. You okay. got it. There you are, Simon. Hey, what's up, buddy? Wah. I like this guy a lot. All right. Uh, a lot of this stuff is like late game stuff like the decorations and, and shit like that. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look at uh, weapons uh, to begin with. So in previous games, um, you could, you know, if you had the materials, you could just go ahead and build something. But in this one, you've got to like work through a tree. So you start off with like the iron katana and then you've got to build this. And then you've got to build that. Um, you go down this tree, you know, you can actually uh, like dismantle it, get the parts back, and then start again. Oh, uh, cool! So you can respect. Yes, exactly. Uh, but yeah, uh, there's not a huge variety in like visual. Let's take a look at some of these guys. Oops. There we go. All right. So like, there's that guy. Go down to a different tree. See what he looks like. It's it's not a huge change, um, but I want my stuff to look cool. Yeah, and you you totally will. Like you know, there there are there are definitely ones that look considerably different, but uh, you won't get that until like much later in the game, unfortunately. Um, that's been something that I'm yeah, kind of like, struggling with. Your upgrade tree is double the size of mine right now, mm -hmm. um, and so I kind of. Like, I'm at a point now where it's like I can start putting in uh, decorations, you know, the slots right there um, to give me attack bonuses or different powers. Uh, armor. Um, armor I can make just kind of straight away. So these are... I'm on high rank stuff right now, so... Uh, yeah, I probably don't want to show off that stuff. Go something a little bit. Look, boogie. There we go. So I can preview all that stuff. Or I can preview it individually. It's kind of cool. Um, oh, I can forge charms now. Cool. How many? Uh, can you only have one charm equipped at a time? Yeah. Okay. Whoa. What? Yeah. It's coming out of your face. I'm a big beetle. I'm a shamos. Beetleboard. Oh. Oh yeah. This one is just the just the helmet. Let's see. Look at this guy. 
Good God, man. Yeah. Let's look at that. Quite a carapace armor. you've got there. Oh, I love Rathian arms. How, uh, so, so how, how resist based and like damage type based is all this stuff? Ultimately? Super good question. You take a look <laughs> at the, uh, the right hand uh, side there, the defense statuses, or if I look like individually here, it'll say that it's minus three versus fire. That's accumulative. Um, so if I, you know, have this entire set equipped, I'm negative like 15 to fire. That's not a good idea at all. You can mix and match. Um, and you'll get things like, with this one you get you know, additional skills. And sometimes you'll get set bonuses and things like that. Uh, I it, guess it really doesn't matter through like, okay. the first part of the game. That was my big question was like, is, uh, is it like a nice to have bonus or is that like you literally cannot beat this thing without the right resistance? There's gonna be, there's gonna be instances, yeah, where the higher level monsters, you're gonna need to, yeah, f equip yourself correctly. So here's my big question about weapons. So uh, weapons have a similar, like, you, you know, you, you'll craft a weapon that, or upgrade a, a weapon to a point where it's got thunder damage yep. or something like that, but it'll have a lower, um, base number on it. Okay. So like, oh, I just opened up another set. Oh, I, I want to say you add those numbers up. Uh, let me find an example here. So I've got... There, there uh, we go. So like my base damage is like 196, but it also does like 120 fire damage. Okay. Uh, like so that, that, that's, that's additional. Yes. And then so anything that doesn't have fire resistance is going to take that 120 I believe fire damage. I believe so. Like the, and it's if, not a if set number. If they're, if they're if they're susceptible to fire, they would theoretically take more. Uh, right. Like okay. it, that's not a straight number, though. Like it's not going to do okay. you know right, the, right, the right. three hundred damage or something. Uh, you know, it's going to probably do fifty or sixty or something like that. I'm not exactly okay. Because sure I'm numbers, looking at like but. my bone hatchet's three, like yeah. the third uh, up on the bone tree. Right. And the then the the similar uh, Giratotus equivalent has a lower attack number but then it does 90 water yep so and i'm, I'm looking great. at that going like well okay there'll be some things that'll be strong to water mm -hmm. like or like you know on average does this work out is this still a better upgrade because the numbers are theoretically higher right uh, or or would i be losing out and that that's not clear to me uh, eventually, I'd start making sets for you know different types of monsters. Okay. Uh, you, you know, choose different loadouts and, and that's stuff. That's, yeah. <laughs> I, I like that stuff. I know. If you, if you that, that's stick the stuff that I don't know if I armor, want to necessarily. Uh, how deep I want to get. That's that's the game, man. Getting new armors and weapons and like if you. Uh, yeah. I'm fine with it for armor. I can see, I can see you getting like extremely bored. It's if, the resistance stuff specifically that I just like. It's some of my least favorite stuff in games. Okay. Is, is like. Specking for resistances. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that frost hammer there, and I'm gonna equip that shit. Yeah. Oh, look cool. at that guy. Oh, that's real cool. Look at that guy. Yeah. Um, also, if there's uh, stuff on there that like you're working towards, check this out. Uh, you can create like a like a wish list type thing. So if it's like oh, I don't have those parts yet, but if I hit this, it'll actually. There you go. Entry added. So when I do get those parts, I come back from a quest that will say, hey, you've got enough of that now. Go make it. So are those question marks because you've never seen those parts yet? Or right. You, okay. Yep. Once I do find them, then yeah. They'll, so like if you come across the or like whatever plant, you're like, yeah. oh, that's the one for your hammer. Yep. Cool. Uh, you can also make, you know, weapons and armors for... Oh, cool. I can, oh, I can get a Rathian instead from... Oh, that's good. Yeah. Put Ashley set. What? What? Look at how cute you are. Oh my god. There's that ladybug set that uh, Jeff was talking about. Oh yeah. Uh, but yeah, these are uh, the weapons that they bring in. Uh, really, really nice. And, uh, you know, um, the armor uh, doesn't really add too much other than just like, you know, defense and stuff. I, I don't think that they add any other skills. I'm not positive. But, but yeah, calicos are, are super, super helpful. Let's see. Uh, all right, we talked about weapons. We talked about crafting. Uh, we did some multiplayer stuff. Um, How are you finding the story? You're uh, further, you're oh, definitely further than I am. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, the story is the uh, uh, the setup is like you're you're following the trail of these uh, huge elder dragons, and you know every ten years they make this pilgrimage, you know, to this new world, and that's kind of where we're at right now. Uh, so we're we're actually on a fact finding mission. We're we're over here trying to find out why they do that. Um, the story unfolds, um, you know, you find out why they're making this trip. Um, 
and then eventually you like uh, I, I don't want to spoil too much uh, but I, I think it's really important to note that there's a point in the story in which it seems like the end right yeah but it's not okay. uh, like the cutscene that they show you seems like the end and immediately afterwards they start offering you high rank quests and the setup, like the transition is, it's kind of jarring because what they show you is like, oh wow, now these animals are, or these monsters are doing different attacks. And the armor that they're showing you that you can upgrade to seems like the same stuff, just with bigger numbers. And it's, it, it almost seems like a new game plus kind of thing. Right. Uh, but it, it, it it's not, Dude, keep, keep going. Is this your uh, room? This is my room. I have this upgraded my- This way nicer than my room. <laughs> They've uh, upgraded my room a couple of times. I get this guy. Man. Like, yeah. Oh, so I got the nice little fire over here. Look at this wanna, bougie shit. You want to come hang out in my room? I can go hang out outside. I sit on the bench and just chill. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Anyway, I'm head over heels in, in, in love with the changes that they've made in this uh, game as far as. Uh, you know, the quality of life improvements. Um, I think they've done a really good job of like, you know, making it a little more accessible. Um, you know, they westernized it to a certain degree, like, you know, making the guns shoot like guns and stuff like that. Uh, but it has not deviated too much from the core Monster Hunter you know, concept, I think. You know, that loop is still there. Um, a lot of the tedious shit has been cut out and I think that's gonna help a lot of people. But bear in mind, this is not like a, a whole new, Monster Hunter game. Yeah, that, 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 I totally. Like, I, I feel like for the first time I've been able to kind of wrap my mind around what this is. Yep. And I've actually had a really good time for the, like the first dozen or so hours, mm -hmm. but it's starting to seem a little repetitive. And I, that that's going to vary from person to person. Yeah. You know, repetitive games are either going to click with you or not. So they, this particular one totally clicks with me. I can play this solo and have a great time. Um, whereas a lot, a lot of people just want to do multiplayer. And that's probably one of the more, you know, uh, popular things to do in in this game. I'm looking People forward. I just want to listen to like more. you know the podcast game or whatever. Uh, oh man, do you want to look at his other stuff? No, I, I don't want to show. Show me one. Show me one. I'm trying to think of what the favorite one. Not the weapon. Oh, I know. Let's see. Not that one. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, that guy's pretty good. That looks pretty cool. That is good. Um, here we go. He's like a little kitty astronaut. That's, that's pretty good. That's, that's like, it's cute. I like that. Wait, do you have that whole suit? Uh, I know I have the hat. Oops. Let's see. What was that one called? Bond? Okay. I don't think I do. Got some bone, some Lulu. More bone? No, I don't. Bummer. Anyway, dressing up cats. Character creator is really good too. You get to, it is. Yeah, it's, it's one yeah. of the better character creators I've seen maybe, maybe ever. And you have yeah, full control over time. your your cat as well. And but. the characters just <laughs> look fantastic. Yeah, I, I would hope for slightly more cat options in yeah. terms of yeah. patterns and such. Yeah. I, cat stuff's a little limited. It might be the best like create a cat creator. Oh, it's absolutely but, the best cat but creator. I, was definitely left wanting slightly more. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Fine. Uh, I saw somebody make their dude look like Frieza. I, you could probably do that. Absolutely. Um, All right, Jason, gesture yeah. us out. Uh, uh, God, I haven't Yeah, played much multiplayer. I, let's see, edit shout out. I don't want to do that. Edit shout out? Is that what I want to do? Oh man, this is embarrassing. Wait, there was a menu right there. You guys see it? I can't read it. It's is my problem. I can't it's gestures. Okay. No. Wait, where? Which part are you trying to read? Uh, I think I'm in there. Yeah, gestures triangle. There we go. All right, let's take a look at these guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's up? Oh, huh. little, little point. Yeah. Over there. Check it out. Uh huh. No. -uh. Oh yeah. No. Yes. Stop. Seems like at least one of the DLC things is a, a different gesture, so I wonder if they're gonna have those packaged. 
um, like on the store. Uh, let's see. Uh, they, have, they have finally unblocked the trophies go. for the game. We are finally oh, really? close enough to release to where now they are viewable. Cool. Look at that. Check out my gear. Oh, Boast is a really good one. This is Rob Van Dam. Nice. Good shit. Nice. <laughs> There's a trophy for cooking a well done steak, but it says it's rare. Huh. Hmm. Uh, yeah. More Monster Hunter. Way better Monster Hunter. Kind, kinder, gentler Monster Hunter. Yeah, totally. Um, yeah, get some get some friends together. Uh, I'm going to get you guys together at some point. Yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, I'm, I'm down to play more for sure. Yeah, all you guys have been playing. And yeah, I think that's where this, this game really shines, I think. It's uh, having fun with that stuff. Um, yeah, I'm barreling through the high rank quests right now. I don't know exactly how far it's going to go, how long it's going to go, but... Uh, um, I'll keep plugging away for sure. So, um, I think I hit that point, the high rank stuff, at about 20, 25, 30 hours mm. in. Um, anyway. All right. That's it for me, guys. I'm going to go hunt some more. I got to get some special bones uh, so I can finish my suit here. All right. Feel free to Good. bone up. Good right. luck with the bones. Thanks. <laughs>